Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So, in our today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create a balloon pop up message in our Android code name. So, this is sample application uh, which will show you the sample of your today's tutorial. We will create this type of pop up balloon toast uh, message for our application. As you can see, uh, it seems more innovative and interactive with the user. So, we will create this. So, let's start creating this. Go to our uh, application and let's create a new application. I have created here with the name of balloon toast message. This is our main Kotlin file and this is main XML file. In XML file, I am having the view as text view and I had increased the size of it and the text is hello world and I had also changed the color of my text to black color and I had given it ID as sample balloon. So in order to create this type of toast message, uh, balloon pop-up, we need to include this library to our project, right? The link of this library I will give you in description. Just copy this Marvin URL and paste it into our this one build.jrl file under all projects repositories. Just paste it here and then again go to our library and uh, copy this dependency, right? We need to include this dependency to our project. So just copy that dependency and go to build.jrl file and under dependency section you can paste it here and then sync your project. It may take some time to sync your project. So until that, go back to our library and here I will show you how to create this balloon uh, pop-up in our application, right? So for that, we will use this line of code. This is Java library, right? So this line of code is in Java language. Just copy this and uh, here we are doing our project in Kotlin language, right? So go to our main uh, activity file, main Kotlin file and here when we will paste that uh, two lines of code, it will show you uh, the uh, this one thing that uh, your code is in Java. Uh, allow me to convert your code to Kotlin and then we will click on yes then the code is converted into Kotlin here we have created the variable bp which is type of balloon pop-up and then we had used the builder class and here I had passed the context and uh, comma and second parameter I want to pass the uh, uh, attribute right uh, view which uh, uh, on which I want to display this balloon pop-up right so I had created a text view and here yeah, I will just copy this id and paste it instead of this uh, view right i will queue uh, i will display this uh, balloon pop up on that text view right so i pasted that id here and then i am having this toast uh, text uh, method right so here i am to uh, pass the string which will be displayed inside that balloon pop up right so i'll pass it as a sample bll and balloon pop up toast right this message will be displayed right Let's display it in two sections. So I will give you a new line, and then we are having to sh dot show method, right? Let's run the program and see if it is giving expected output or not. This is our emulator. As you can see, our application is up and running, and here our toast message has been displayed for a millisecond, right? For very less amount of time. Uh, we need to change the duration of time for displaying that toast message, right? So for that, let's go back to our library and here uh, the library is providing us some set of methods, right? Through which we can uh, customize our toast po uh, balloon pop-up toast message, right? So one of this method is uh, time to live, right? So just copy this method and here they have given the use of this method to increase the uh, time span for the uh, which the toast message will be displayed. So just copy this method here and we will change the time span to 5 seconds, right? So just change the here uh, value of milliseconds to 5000, uh, which means it will show that toast message for 5 seconds, right? Let's run the program and see if it is giving expected output or not. So here our application is up and running and our balloon pop up toast message has been displayed for 5 seconds. At the top of our application, right? Uh, now uh, the application, the toast message has been displayed at the top, right? We need to display it in middle of our application, somewhere here or here, right? So which means we need to change the location of our toast message, right? So for that, uh, here we are having the method of dot position offset, right? So just copy this method and paste it into a project here. Uh, using this here we have, have we have to pass two parameters like right? both are integer value the uh, uh, 
position of x coordinate and the position of y coordinate right uh, which uh, through which we can change the location of our toast message so i'll give the x coordinate as uh, 5 10 and y coordinate as 8 10 let's see the uh, different uh, the, this location where the toast message will be displayed let's apply our changes to our emulator And here this message has been displayed here right uh, it's okay uh, i just want to show the sample how we can change the location you can change the parameters here and uh, display it at the your location right so let's now let's change the size of our text right uh, by using this text size you can change the size of your text displayed in that balloon toast message uh, and also you can change the drawable you can change the background color or background uh, any image you want to display and drawable you can use this dot drawable method and you can also change the use the custom layout for your this balloon pop-up message by using layout resource method right uh, now for now let's change the size of our uh, that uh, text just copy this method and paste it here uh, let's try some more methods let's change the shape of our this uh, shape of our balloon message so just copy it and paste it here and let's also change the animation uh, of our toast message copy that and paste it here right now let's first uh, uh, apply operation of text message let's display the text of uh, 20 dp text size 20 let's make it 20 and here we need to pass the shape of which shape balloon message you want so uh, I will balloon shape dot rounded square uh, here we are having set some squares BLL balloon shape uh, universe square or rounded square or little rounded square or oval this type of shapes we are having so let's uh, display it in rounded square right uh, and then animation you can apply your animation uh, which type of animation you want for your toast message so let's see uh, here we are having some set of animation fade or fade 75 fade and pop fade and pop fade and scale let's uh, try it out fade and scale so this animation will be provided to our balloon message at the time of display and disappear right let's apply these changes and see if this changes how it seems like our balloon message as you can see our message has been displayed with uh, the different text size and as you can see animation has been also changed so in this way you can use this library here also they had given this some sample programs also they are having many more methods here you are having you can use it throughout your application if you are finding out any difficulty while understanding these methods from this library you can comment me on comment box or you can also mail me uh, i will make tutorial on that or i will help you in any way i can be comfortable right uh, so they are, here also he had given the examples some of the high level examples in which uh, you can use this library to make your application more advanced uh, so just visit this link this one and here you can see some set of applications uh, some set of examples uh, how you can use the, your library right as you can see it seems more innovative and attractive to attract your user throughout to, towards your application right these are some examples of this library uh, you can also get code from here uh, it has been uploaded to github right so hope you like this tutorial and in this way you can create this post message to your uh, application right so thanks for watching